We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. Ah, the music. The iconic music, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a bit loud, but we'll eventually be able to set that down just a little bit. Anyhow, I'm diving in as part of the I want to play all sorts of Warriors game. And Dragon Quest Heroes is essentially Dragon Quest Warriors, the World Trees, Woe, and the Blight Below. Or the Dragon Quest Heroes Slime Edition. It is by Koei Tecmo and Square Enix, releasing on December 3rd, 2015. Now, I played around with this a little bit back in the day, and I actually loaded it last night just a little bit as well to make sure everything was looking good and right and nice and pretty. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot. I'm going to have a lot of fun. Whether you guys do or not is irrelevant. No, I'm kidding. I want you guys to have some fun. I want you guys to be entertained. If you are fans of the Dragon Quest or Dragon Warrior way back in the day in the U.S. series, this is going to... Probably hit you with a little bit of nostalgia. If you played Dragon Quest XI, you'll definitely recognize the whole artistic design. Obviously, Toriyama. You'll recognize sound design, noises, and everything. It's going to be great. Like, I, I just this, these games. I've come back to the Dragon Quest series after you know, however many years. I played the first one. Literally, that was it. And then like the eleventh one, I was like, holy heck! Yeah, there's so many things that I remember. It just goes back to you know. It's, it's very exciting. I do eventually want to come through all of them. I have 1, 2, and 3 on the Switch. They released kind of like a remastered version. Uh, we may at some point dive in and try to go through the entire series if that's possible. We'll see. Either way, for now, it doesn't matter. We're, we're diving into some Koei Tecmo games. And, uh, yeah, let's begin. So you see, uh, I played around for like 20 minutes or so yesterday just to kind of get re-familiarized with it. And I am ready to go. So let's get in it. All right, now choose the hero you'll control on your adventures in this world. All right, we got Lucius, this cool collected captain of the King's Guard, always has a strategy up his sleeve. And then we also have Aurora, this fun yet fearless captain of the King's Guard, never runs from a fight. All right, so we're going to go with Aurora because, you know, uh, I, I try to mix it up between male, female protagonists, and I think my original playing of this game way back in the day, I, I played with Lucius for the most, you know, most of it, so, oh, oh, we can zoom in and out and rotate and stuff, oh, okay, look at that, see, huh? Come on then. alright, we're gonna keep the names, and then next, choose a name for the hero's oldest friend, by whose side your adventure will unfold, so essentially, kind of both characters come along for the ride, am I happy with the two? I am, let's get it. We can adjust system settings, including the voice language. You can choose between English and Japanese. I'm just going to leave basically everything as defaulted here. And control method, camera settings, and so on and so forth. Uh, I'm going to go with the slick controls because I'm slick like that. No. Uh, essentially, if you just want a button mash with like no method to your madness, you just want to spam Y or X on a Xbox controller or a square and triangle, on a PlayStation controller, go with quick controls. It'll throw in combos and stuff, get super moves and whatnot. But if you want to manually control it and decide what you want to do when you want to do it, go with the slick controls. It's not that much different, honestly. Uh, essentially, you can do like X, Y, Y, or like X, X, Y, or X, 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 Y, and so on and so forth. Like, there's different combos you can do that bring out different special moves. I mean, if you guys have played any of the uh, Dynasty Warriors games, you should be familiar at least with the basic concepts of this game. So, all right, taking a look around. These are the last things. What is this? Enable the camera always align itself behind the character you are controlling. Sure. Automatic lock. Automatically focus on boss monsters. Sure, that's fine. Camera speed. Oh yeah, we might have to play around with some of those settings, but I don't think so. Auto save function. All right, let's get it. Once upon a time, nice. in a curious dimension, quite unlike our own, there was a very special world Snipes. where humans Wyverns. and monsters Sorry, I'll, I'll lived search. together Sorry. in peace. In the majestic city of Arba, which stood at the center of that world, the most important festival of the year was just beginning. 
and the streets resounded with the happy cries of man and monster alike. Hmm. Childishly simple. The prize is as good as mine. Not bad at all. All right, my turn. All I have to do is hit something, right? Should be easy enough. Go, <sighs> <sighs> look, look. That the castle may well, not why? be. Our comrades are under attack. We oh. must act now, lest they suffer for our complacency. Ooh. Listen carefully. I will circle around to the rear of the castle and assess the situation. You, meanwhile, will approach from the you front. You want to follow some long-winded plan? Thanks, uh. but no thanks. We're royal guards, so let's guard some royals. Yeah. We need to find King Doric right now. Yeah. Wait! <sighs> Headstrong fool. Does she mean to fight them all off on her own? Yeah, yeah. He said comrades. Mm, that hurts me. All right. King Doric will probably be in the throne room. Come on, we have to goo and help him. Very well, but let us approach from the rear. The passage ahead is not the most direct route, but it should be at least infested with monsters. So the longest way around is the shortest way home, huh? Yeah. Very you. All right, then. Let's get moving. All right, guys and gals, let's get it. After a little bit of sound adjustment, of course. All right, let's get to hustling. Or a day. It'll be relatively simplistic okay, to start with. You ready? Sure. Let's go over the basics of fighting. Let's go over it. Sure. First, you should open the menu and take a go look at the action list. Action list. So you see slashy combo with big old X's across the board. You got the charging slash, which is the Y. Then you've got the rising slice. You've got the swiping slice. You got the blizzard slash. There's a mid-air combo, an air raid crash. Then you have the cold fission. And then a bunch of other random stuff. All right. All things that are relatively important. Okay, cool. Got it. Okay, I did it. Oh, do I have to do it again? Okay, I did it again. Heh, heh, Monsters, heh, here, heh, already. Heh. Oh, then we oh, have little oh. choice. We must fight our way through. Blizzard Slash! Blizzard Slash! Ha. E. Ha. 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 Time to give the action you just looked at in the menu. Alright. Oh, oh! I know an amazing attack. Try oozing this. Ha. Ha. I just, Yippee. I just used it. Yeah, That's I did. The way to do it. Okay, try this Blizzard slash. Blizzard slash. That was perfect. It was pretty great. More monsters. I wish there was another way, but it looks like we'll have to fight them. Blizzard slash. We're just like massacring like his uh, relatives. Who's the attacks I told you about? 
want. Uh, you can do it. Yes, I know I can do it. I'm doing it, okay? Let's do other spells and abilities next. I'm not sure. Both use up magic points or MP for sure. I'm short. not sure I like Helix, to be honest. It that is. blue bar in the bottom left of the screen is your MP gauge. Go on, try oozing your position. I don't particularly. I don't particularly like. There's more of them! Quickly! Get them with that ability! I don't to particularly start. like the voice for this character. I think, I mean, obviously it is purposefully the way it is to mildly inconvenience and slightly annoy everyone. But it's okay. I am a super duper fighting machine, it's true. That looks like the last of them. Come on, let's keep moving! I mean, to be fair, I'm not all about the fencing weapon. Like, the rap the rapier is not really my, uh, the rapier is not really my favorite. I would definitely prefer his sword, but, eh, you know. If you can't go through something, go over it. Try jumping. Try getting over. Hey, Megasus! They like throwing spells from far away, so watch out. Megasus! Don't panic if you think the spell's going to hit you. Just dodge out of the way. Come on, try again. And if an attack's coming from dead ahead, you can use your shield to block it instead. Yeah, I can. So the shield up is a very slow, um... The monster threat here has been suppressed. Action. Onward! To the throne room! Like, it's not super slow, but it's not something you can just do really quick. You need, like, a, a maybe a, almost a full second before you can shift into defend mode. Oh, look at them all. Oh, for heaven's sake, more monsters. Let's get this over with, shall we? We got the drakies, we got the slimes, we got the mages. Apparently, we got a, a chest. Look, there's a treasure chest on top of those crates. There might be a nice treat inside. There might be. To open it, just go up to it and stand still until you see the button sign. Master buttons! Not quite the same. Alright. Alright, I have mashed the button and I got myself a mini metal. Don't know what that means. Blizzard Slash! Alright. We've got to sort the monsters out here before we do anything else. Yeah, we do. And we have, basically. We just got a couple couple of them left. Blizzard Slash! We got the we did pretty good there. Alright. That's the last of them. It is. We were able to break the, the pots of gold over there and get ourselves some stuff. Onward we move. To the king's aid! If the cellars are anything to go by, a sizable force awaits us within the castle. Indubitably. I'm starting to get really worried about the king. We've got to hurry. Alright, bring it to me. Let's go. Knock, knock. <laughs> Uh-oh. These guys don't look all that, um, stout, they say. King, however. Mm, what is the meaning of this? Your Majesty. Ah, there you are, my brave young bodyguards. So, Our monster friends have gone quite mad. The little devils all turned on me at once. Both the castle and the town have been overrun. Mm. We must devise a strategy without delay. Mm. Hmm? <laughs> right. You and I must stand fast while His Majesty and Helix fall back toward the throne. <laughs> the task of defending the throne room will be ours. <laughs> when the enemy draw near, one of us will meet their advance and launch a counter-offensive. The other will hold position and protect King Doric from any who make it through the onslaught. But even <laughs> if we do defeat the enemy before us, we cannot afford to let our guard drop. If my assessment of the situation is correct, they will divide their forces into several groups and attack in waves. <laughs> Each time they do so, one of us must guard his majesty while the other renews the onslaught. 
By alternating our roles, we shall be able to conserve energy and keep the enemy at bay I indefinitely. Mean, he's not really? wrong. Only... He's still talking. Thanks for the master plan, but if it's all the same to you, I'm going to go and batter those monsters before they get to the king. Why, you... To rush in without a sound strategy is pure folly. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Huh? You are most kind. But I have no need of your protection. Nay, let we three stand and fight side by side. Indeed. Now to arms, friends. For Arbor! Yeah, and also the goo guy. The goober. It's not Helix anymore, he's goober. I like it. Very bolsterous, very loud, but you know, bright colors. It's, I, I don't know. Like I said, I, I, I enjoy these a lot. They're just fun to play. That's all there is to it. Here they come, please, your majesty, get to safety. We will remain here and... <laughs> Have you forgotten who I am, boy? They do not call me the Royal Rumbler for nothing, you know. They'll not cower behind my guards just yet. Hmm, I had a feeling you might say that. Well, we've never managed to stop you jumping in yet, so why start now? <laughs> I'm scared. Just sit tight, Elix. We'll keep you safe. Uh, okay, I'll ooze heal on you if you need it. Be careful. Oh, oh dear, sweet merciful lord. Alright. Ah. Good and dodge and done. One, two, three. Oh, we got the level up sound. Love it. As suspected, they cover for their lack of strength by attacking in waves. Our strategy must be to Yeah, it doesn't really make any sense. Yes. They cover for their lack of strength to attack in waves. How about we adopt a strategy I like to call whack them until they fall over? I like it. <laughs> a fine approach indeed, my dear. Now look sharp, the pair of you. All right. Cold fission. Got most of them taken care of at this point. We got a few boys in the back here. Uh, well, we didn't send him for uh, the old uh, tumble there. Oh, yeah, we got some stuff back here. And this allows them to kind of regroup. I like that we have a little mini map at the top. Because it, uh, it does assist us in knowing what exactly it is that we need to do, what we're up against, what remains. Oh, it does not go upstairs, apparently. A giant wind attack said, nah, I ain't doing that. All right. Yes. I still kind of wish it did the... We did it. You know, that, that deal. I, I lost the jingle there. Splendid. Fine work. Indeed, my trusted guardians. Truly, you were born to fight. Now let us drive these adult creatures from the castle for good. Gooey! You are all so amazing. He's now a hick. It's fine. I have to help you or help out too. Wait here. I'll goo on ahead and see what's outside. But he looks it's not safe. God, he can't just go running off on his own like that. He'll get himself hurt. As long as monsters remain within the castle walls, we all risk injury at their hands. Come on. We must drive them out. No, no, we're not doing that. All right, so we did, then did do the thing. Let's go do some more of the thing. Can't believe Helix ran off like that. He's always been such a scaredy cat. Eeps! Ow! Uh, ouch! Uh, stop it! You're hurting me! It's me, Helix! Why won't you listen to me? Mm, is that young Helix I hear? Friends, I fear our gelatinous friend is in barrel at the hands of yet more crazed fiends. And we have to go and help him. He'll never be able to stand up to them on his own. I fear you may be right, and I fear that my suspicions about the number of monsters who have made it into the castle walls may also be correct. Alright, we gotta Josh. prevent Helix from getting whooped up on. There are a large quantity of monsters. Oh, Helix. What the? What the? Look, Look at how many of them there are. Where are they all coming from? Uh, oh. Could all the monsters taking part in the festival have descended on the castle at once? Mayhaps, sir. Mayhaps. Helix is like, you know, maybe I bit off more than I could uh, goo. <laughs> uh, I'm so, I'm so funny. 
I'm not. Not, but that, that was that was great. All right, so we're just gonna run past a giant blob of these guys, and then we're gonna we're gonna goo him to safety. Leave him alone. You'll, you'll get cold vision. Gotta love it. Hey, stop hitting our goo boy. Blizzard slash. I'm not done. We got one more blizzard slash coming. Maybe another one after that. I, I'm not really sure the the need to call out the uh, the moves that she does every time. It's okay, but you know. He's all good. He looks. Why are you getting owned by these things? Come on, man. Blizzard slash. All right. We don't have much left. There's a few. Helix just always seems to find himself in the midst of them all. Alright, what do we what do we got left? Just uh that guy and a few more skelly boys. These things were like legit back in the day. Again, I'm thinking like the OG from Dragon Warrior slash Dragon Quest. Like the first time you ran across one of these dudes, you're like, oh god, what's that? And if I recall correctly, I ran across them pretty early on, like before I should have. No, sir. All right, so we handled all the folk. That would be good to See you. We did it. Yeah, you did. And you did a little uh, catwalk spin there at the end. Finally, whew. Looks like that's the last one. Are you okay, Helix? I was so, 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 so scared. This is the last slime I ever goo running off on my own, I promise. All's well that ends well, little friend. Let us be thankful you escaped unharmed and the castle appears to be free of monsters at last. Marvelous news indeed. Sorry, um, then we must make haste to the town below. I dispatched elite troops to quell the menace there. We must join them in the fight. All right, let's go join them in the fight. I like how the goo is like in a hamster wheel. That's good times, or the slime, excuse me. <laughs> ah, not much further now. Uh -oh. Surprise! Just as I thought. I feared they might be holding such a creature in reserve. Dragon music. and Orp, is one thing we can do? Come on then. Let's give it the hiding of its life. Oh, I love it. Oh, oh, that didn't work at all how I had planned. This creature cannot be allowed to run rampant within the castle walls. We must hold him here. Alright, I'm getting I'm getting molly -whopped. I probably Nick, should run stay away. Out of trouble this time, okay? Cold fisher. Should probably try to avoid getting hit in the in the head. Do not fear. Should the monsters approach you, we will come to your aid. Try and be brave. Oh, I love it. Love it so much. Here, hold this. Eh. Oh, friends, do not swing blindly. When facing such a foe, it is essential to seek out its weak points. Where dragons are concerned, a blow to the head or tail is worth ten elsewhere. Oh, there now, it is. Friends, strike while our foe is prone. For armor! Forever. Anyway, the green dragon first like real like oh crap moment you come into. I mean, there, there's others, there's definitely others, but it's one of the first real like oh no, what have I got myself into situations? Ah. 
Try to win, girl. Cold fishing. He, he, he's loopy and he's dunzy. There it is. So, yeah, you meet him in a cave where you need a torch because you can't see anything. You're going along, and then there's just one spot that you need to get to or get through. And I think there was like a way through, and then there's this other area. And you have to get an item from the other area or something like that. And you run across the green dragon, and you're like, what? Huzzah! The dragon is defeated! Uh, Victory is ours! Sweet, sweet Vic! Hmm? And it's uh, significantly more powerful than anything else that you fought at the time. And the it whoops your booty. Things? Oh. This cannot be. Nightmares! Gird your loins, for we are sure to be slaughtered! I'm sorry? My loins? What is, what is exactly happening here? Ow! Don't worry, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just get uh, owned a little bit here. It's, it's fine. Alright, so we're fighting a bunch of moon stars. They are not very happy that we exist right now. Oh, I can't go any further. So that's, uh, that's a visual. That's kind of neat. I like that. I can appreciate that. Hey, good boy. They just keep coming, no matter how many of them we beat. We can't keep this Ow. up forever. Girl. Cold vision. I must think. There must be some strategy, some. All right. Do not lose heart, my uh, loyal guardians. Here, a tonic. We, we don't get whooped. <laughs> Witness the power of the mighty Vimstone. I got the mighty Vimstone. Vimstone when it's at home. Oh, oh my, I, I feel. Oh, I'm tingling all over. Oh my. Here it is. It's Vimin time. Time for the coup de gras. For the coup, right coup de gras. Yes. Da, 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 da. I, lo I love that, that that happened in the midst of this. Oh, she hit him with a giga slash. That's a bunch of dead folk. How did she not hurt her allies with that? They just duck. I just seeing the king like dive to the ground, cover his head. You. We did it. Oh, she does giga slash. Kind of makes me happy. Ha! But you felt friends was the incomparable or incomparable. Power of tension. A source of fighting might beyond reckoning. The Vimstone brings it forth in spades. But this is neither the time nor the place to discuss such a potent force. It, its uses are many and its depths nigh unplumbable. For now, let us be glad that our staunch defense has delivered Arbor from peril and give thanks. You're right, we did it. What a team. You've unlocked the power of tension. Ah, good times. All done. Looks like that's the last of them. He's contemplating. What's the matter with you? Stop standing around posing and act a little pleased, will you? <sighs> I fear it is too soon for celebrations. Oh, boy. Is it? If I am not much mistaken, this battle was but the first of many. We have rid the capital of monsters, yes. But this is no more than a temporary solution. It is but a matter of time before their allies outside the city launch another assault. Furthermore, it would be foolish to assume that the effects of this phenomenon are limited to the monsters in Arbor. Mean. Okay, okay, we get it. He's like a low, low budget. Is, all the other towns and villages in the world may be in Sherlock trouble Holmes. too. Uh, Friends, I had feared as much Artie myself. Javers. It would seem the time is indeed against us. Fear not, Your Majesty. I have devised the perfect strategy. First, we must head westward, through the forest, to the city of Calibre. Well, of course! Calibre! Home of majors, inventors, and workers of wonder. Indeed. Surely there we might find a clue as to the troubles that assail us. Good thinking, Your Majesty. That's an amazing idea. Yes, but... Mm. Well, That's then, what... we better get going. Me too. Mm -hmm. I'm going with you. Rah! Come, my boldest and most trusted retainers. We must sally forth without delay! Yeah, Huzzah! King. You tell us. You tell us the strategy. 
All right, now for a little bit of the old hype package. Hopefully this doesn't get demonetized as uh, sometimes, you know, this looks like a trailer right here. Often does, but yeah, it is what it is. Let's see what we got. Living slime, the slime king. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, the iconic music. So we get quite the cast of characters. Oh my. Oh, but we got allies too. Love it. I love it. Dragon Quest Heroes. The world trees woe and the blight below. It's pretty sick. All right. So it would seem the commotion in the capital has been quelled. Now let us venture westward to Caliburg. This is a fair city. It is a fair city. Girt about by stout walls and lying at the heart of the Great Plains. But I am forgetting myself, it being a mere stone's throw from the capital. You have accompanied me there before, no? I'm to think of it, I did go with you on a visit there once, to the, uh, what was it called again? The Institute of Ingenuity, where the greatest scholars in the land study the esoteric arts of magic and mechanics. Precisely, I, Caliburg, is positively brimming with the wondrous fruits of invention. I do not doubt that we shall find ample expertise there to aid us in Arba's defense. And besides, there is one there whose counsel I would seek. A great mind indeed, a loyal subject of our fair realm. Come, friends, onward! Sweet. Wow, what's all this? An armor, a chapel, all the amenities of the town are they're here. <laughs> Welcome to Camp Caliburg, uh, the well-appointed outpost whence we shall march on Caliburg itself. Though I pray that it is not so, the monsters of that fair town, too, may have lost their minds. We must make ready for war, though it pains us to do so. Hi. Welcome to Camp Caliburg, Captain. We've organized some basic facilities to prepare you for, uh, prepare you for the way ahead. Oh, that's right. Uh, the city isn't that far from Camp Gates, but there's no telling what dangers are lurking out there. Be sure to make adequate preparation before you head on out into the field. Mm -hmm. All right, sir. All right, we went from level one to five. I made it to level six yesterday, so apparently I did better the last time I did this. Uh, basically, I played up to this point. Uh, mini metal horse manure. Oh, good. We got some horse manure. Yay. All right, welcome to Camp Caliburg. All right, so uh, we received a slime sword and probably a whole bunch of other stuff. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna probably break off the first episode here. I've been this has been on my to-do list for quite a long time. A pair of gooey gloves. Looks like we're gonna be getting a lot of items coming in. I'm just gonna ignore it for now. Uh, and you know what? Since I'm kind of gonna be doing some more warriors-esque games as we go and do stuff, I figured now is the time to start this. Alongside the other like 65 Warriors games that we have. I do enjoy the hack and slash exploration, the storyline, the character development, all, all the stuff that they do. 
I think they do fantastic, and it's an extra treat for me to see them, you know, link up with another company like Square Enix in this case, and bringing their formula and kind of the way the fighting works and all that stuff to a different franchise as something added to the franchise, as like a, hey, you know, here's the mainstay of the franchise. Here's a, a different game type in that same thing that kind of builds on a character, tells its own story, but it's not, you know, it's not taking over the game. It's not like, oh, this is what, you know, this series is going to become now. And, you know, I also appreciate that Koei Tecmo has their own series of games that are this entirely. So, like I said, I know a lot of people are against stuff like this. I don't really understand that concept, you know. If you don't like these type of games, don't play it, but don't hate on it. Don't bash it because it's not a game you, you know, you would play yourself. It makes no sense. Like I, I, I like to use the the whole concept idea. I mean, we've been seeing a lot of hate for the most recent of the Warriors-esque games coming out, uh, the crossover ones, and that was Fire Emblem Three Ho Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. And a lot of people just bash and hate that game. They're like, oh, this isn't uh, the tactical turn-based brilliance, and you know, on and on. You know the arguments. You've heard it all before. And, you know, I just, I, I have to say, it's like, you know, having a, a franchise branch out and do other things, I mean, where would Mario have ended up if Mario just s stuck with 2D platforming the entire time and didn't become, like, the mascot branched out into all these various other avenues, you know, Brawl, all the sports games, racing games, all these other things that it went out and did. Those are all very different from what Mario was and, you know, inherently, even to this point, still is. So... That was a great thing. That has carried the Mario franchise and name for, you know, however many decades at this point. And then you go and you look at Fire Emblem itself, right? That, like that Again, that's one of the big controversies. You look at Fire Emblem itself and you see, hey, it wouldn't be around right now if it wasn't for Smash Brothers. That's completely divergent from what it actually is. And whether you like Smash or not, you can't deny that. So why is there a problem if it does the crossover with... Uh, was it Tokyo Mirage Sharp FE or whatever it was? Um, and if it does uh, Warriors games, it, these are only good things. They're showing a franchise, characters, and all this stuff to a different audience than you know what maybe you particularly like. And if you happen to like all these things at once, like I do, you know, you get to enjoy you know one of your favorite franchises in a different light and enjoy you know that whole thing. Sorry, guys, guys, this is just something that's, like, really been annoying me. Like, I just don't understand how people are, you know, so close-minded and just angry about stuff sometimes. It makes no sense to me at all. And it, and it bothers me, because, like, a lot of people are that way. And it's like, I, like, do you not see the big picture? Like, I, I, just, I, I just don't understand. Anyway, um, yeah. So, here we are. Dragon Quest Heroes, a.k.a. Warriors, if you uh, will. And I am absolutely here for it. I'm waiting to dive back in. And we also have, when we finish this up eventually, uh, we have the second game in the series to dive into and a whole bunch of other Warriors games to check out. So, uh, I guess stick around and see more. Uh, if you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, any of that stuff, or the publisher, it's all going to be down below in the description of the video and various links. Subscribe, like, share. You guys know the score. I won't go on my divergent uh, arguments in the uh, future episodes. So y y you heard my rant. It's over. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. We play, we fight, we conquer. <laughs>